Well, looking at one of Gonzaga's fours. Heading up river. There'll be three fours, and I will introduce them in a little bit. This will all be in the same race. And there's another four. And our third one is coming here. Let's go Eagles! Rowing in these fours today, in the first four we have John Goodyear's in the bow, Henry Kiley's in the two seat, Jack Howland's in the third, Charlie Glennon's stroking that boat, and it's Cox by Tyler Warburton. The uh, second four, we have Josh Floriza in the bow, Ryan Parbs is in the two seat, Andres Borjas is in the three, Chris Morrison will be stroking that one, and it will be Cox by John Carluccio. And the third one, we have Mitch Donahoe is in the bow, Connor Arrigan's in the two seat, Patrick Gallagher's in the three, uh, Matt Gannon will be stroking that boat and it'll be coxed by Andrew Jopek. And they will be going off after the uh, second and third varsity eight race. All right, Gonzaga's gonna have three boats in this next race, it's the fours. Uh, the Gonzaga A boat will be in lane one closest to us, then St. Albans will be in lane two, Gonzaga's B boat in lane three, and Gonzaga's C boat in lane four. And they are just about to get going here. Well, looks like they are on the water. Two Gonzaga boats out there. And there's St. Albans and uh, the Gonzaga A boat on the right. And they're just coming up to the first bridge now. Two. I can C on the left, B on the right. And then over here. C and Zaga's other four in St. Albans there. Something has happened. Maybe a false start. All right, these fours are finally underway. boat and St. Albans there. The other two there in the shadow. And they're coming out in the sun again. And all four of them look pretty close together right now. You can see them all together. 
That's uh, St. Albans with the Gonzaga B and C boats on its left. And then a little farther off to the right is the A boat for Gonzaga. We're going to pass the bridge. They're about a third of the way down the course. No clear leader here. like it's going to be a close race as well. About halfway done with the course and they're still pretty even. Looks like it's behind, but it's the angle that we're looking at. Well, it looks like the sea boat is really out there. And right now it looks like St. Albans is probably leading the A boat, the B and C boats back. Coming into the final third of the race. Already seeing the boats go behind the pillar here. There's the C, then the B, then St. Albans, and then we see our A boat on the right. final few hundred meters. Let's see who comes out first. And you can still see our boat, the A boat going behind. And now we see them coming out. That should be the C boat. see St. Albans in the B-boat. It's like St. Albans is ahead of them. And here comes the A-boat. Back by a couple of boat lengths. Still got a shot, but they really have to sprint hard to make it. Final 100 meters. It's like St. Albans will take this one. And there's our A boat. And into the finish. There's the B boat. Their finish and the sea boat. Good effort by all.